Hi everyone. I hope you guys are having a great Friday so far. So yesterday we did a momentum lab where we had an elastic. So two things, one thing hit the other and bounced, they both bounced off. Okay. So what we're actually going to talk about today is uh, explosions. Okay. So what happens when things explode? Now, it's analyzing the same concept, okay? The same equation we looked at today, or looked at yesterday. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to present my screen so you can kind of see um, what it looks like, okay? So, okay, so remember, our equation yesterday, looking at the momentum, uh, our law of conservation of momentum was momentum initial is equal to momentum final. So when we had the two cars, the mass of car one times the initial velocity of car one plus the mass of car two, initial velocity of car two is equal to the mass of car one final velocity, car one, plus the mass of car two, final velocity, car two. So that's what we focused on yesterday. Now, in an explosion, what happens is you have one piece and they actually break apart and go different directions. Okay, so what you're doing is the mass at the initial is combined. So now our equation, we're just reforming it where we, all of our masses are combined into one with our initial velocity. And what that's equal to is the same thing, mass of object one, final velocity of object one, plus mass of object two, final velocity of object two. And the best part about this equation is, the very best part is the velocity when something's sitting there to explode, it's just sitting there, okay? The initial velocity, it's stopped. It's not moving. So the initial velocity is zero. So zero times whatever number, it's always going to be zero, okay? So when it's stopped, unless, unless the problem tells you there's an initial velocity, always assume it's zero, okay? So zero is equal to all of that. Well, that's kind of a little bit easier, isn't it? Okay. So once again, I have a, a similar virtual lab to what you guys did yesterday. Hopefully yesterday's lab kind of made sense of how things bounce off of each other. Today, we're exploding things. Okay. We're exploding and analyzing how momentum equation applies there. Okay. So try out the virtual lab. Uh, hopefully these, these uh, physics classroom activities are enjoyable okay I, I think they they have good material in it uh, so and hopefully you're taking away the concepts of what to do okay so anyway if you have any questions please feel free to email me uh, if not I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend and I look forward to seeing you guys on Monday